Hi guys and welcome to Studio One with me Gregor. So today's a video that I've been looking forward to personally for quite a while now. We're gonna talk about everything there is to know about zooming in Studio One A to Z, talk about the beginner methods, the more pro methods and the ninja methods at the very end. I want to make this tutorial as extensive and complete as I possibly can today so that whether you're a complete beginner of Studio One and you're trying to you know zoom a little bit better, navigate a bit better or whether you're already a pro looking for new ways to get faster i hope that each of you can take at least one thing away from this tutorial hopefully all right let's go bottom to top here let's start with the habits that i would consider bad or the least efficient and then go all the way to the top methods the ones that i would um, recommend you to use regularly if you want to get faster and have a better workflow experience in studio one when i say bad i don't really mean that you're like a bad person for using these zoom commands that i'm going to show you first i just mean that it's probably a bad idea to use them as your go-to zooming methods because you're just wasting a lot of time so the first method that I see people use time and time again is left click on the timeline and then holding while dragging up and down. And this is particularly inefficient if you do that a couple times because first you have to do this upward motion to go out of your current uh, position and then locate wherever you want to go and then repeat the same in reverse. So it's always two movements, kind of redundant. Uh, you can't really do it in one fluid movement at all. If you want to do it this way, then at least use a scroll wheel, uh, which is, as you can see, a lot faster. But having said that, I would still advise you not to make this your go-to habit because especially if you're on a larger display, you always have to go to this very specific spot in your song, you know, this very narrow strip uh, in order to be able to zoom. And that can be very inefficient depending on where your mouse cursor is currently located. Another way I see people zoom horizontally, which is arguably worse, is all the way at the bottom right here at the time zoom. And then they uh, either adjust the slider by clicking and dragging or even worse, click a couple of times to zoom in and out horizontally like that. Please don't do that um, because not only is this very slow, but it also locks you to your current cursor position. So. If you want to go to bar 73 from here, you have no way of going there quickly. You first have to zoom out, then go to bar 73 and then zoom back in. And look at the amount of travel that my mouse does here. I go to the bottom right to adjust my horizontal zoom. Then I go all the way to the timeline to navigate to where I want to zoom instead. And then I go back to the bottom right to adjust it. You do that a couple times, you go crazy, right? So please don't use this time zoom slider either same goes for a vertical of course i mean this is kind of the same story although there is a drop down menu here that can come in handy at times there is one slider however that i really recommend to use and that is all the way at the bottom right data zoom what this does is it increases the zoom on the waveforms in your song without increasing the actual gain so if you have some lower gained waveforms or you just you know zoomed out quite a bit, then you don't have to increase the gain to get more definition on your waveforms. But as far as sliders go, that is probably the exception to the rule. Another way that I see, I think 90% of Studio One users scroll is with W and E for horizontal and Shift W and Shift E for vertical. And while I've also done that for many, many years, I've just come to the conclusion that this is not a sustainable way to zoom back and forth either because look how many times I have to hit the same key or, you know, repeat that key until I'm where I want to go. And also this is very coarse, right? This is a very coarse zoom. Now there's also a keyboard shortcut for a finer zoom hidden in Studio One. Keyboard shortcuts if you search for the term fine. But even then, you're still hammering the same key over and over or holding it down for key repeat. And it's just not a very precise way of zooming in general. In case you were using one or multiple of these techniques, well, I hope you won't anymore after this video. And to make you do that, here are a couple far more efficient and also easy to master techniques that you should probably get accustomed to. Try just holding down Command on a Mac or Control on a Windows PC and use your scroll wheel to adjust your vertical zoom up and down. 
See how easy that is and also how buttery smooth thanks to uh, the hardware accelerated graphics in Studio One 5. I think that's just incredible. And if you then add shift to the equation, both on Mac as well as Windows, then you're suddenly zooming horizontally. And as you can see, it's so easy to combine the two. If I want to go to bar 19 or 17, for instance, simple as that. And then I just let go of shift to adjust my vertical height as well. And by the way, if you just hold down shift, then you can zoom horizontally, which is something that a lot of people will be happy to hear who are looking for that hand tool that you find in many DAWs to scroll and navigate horizontally. No need to do that, just hold down shift. And as soon as I uh, add command to the equation or control on Windows, I'm in horizontal, zoom, super easy. And if I just hold down command, then I can adjust vertical zoom. This is already a much better approach than going to the timeline ruler up here or down here to this box or even to the slider at the bottom right. All right, if nothing that I've shown you so far was new to you, then hang in there. I'm sure I'm gonna get you at least at one point in this video. <laughs> so let's look at some of the even better zoom habits you should get familiar with. First up is something that we integrated in Studio One 3 and it was a big thing back then, but many people who have joined us ever since have never heard of this feature before. We haven't really advertised it ever since, I have to say. And that is Shift plus Option or Shift and Alt on the Windows PC, which is gonna give you this magnifying glass and then you can just drag a range and isn't that cool? It will just zoom in vertically and horizontally according to um, yeah the size of the box that you are drawing. And if you want to go back, then simply shift and option or shift and alt on Windows once again, click and it's gonna uh, revert to your previous zoom state. Super, super handy. Um, I really love working with this. Now let's talk about one of my favorite key commands in Studio One, and that is zoom to selection, which I think is just the best out of both worlds. Um, it's shift and S by default and you find it in the keyboard shortcuts right here. Studio One keyboard shortcuts. We are actually gonna assign keyboard shortcuts to a keyboard command right now because we are gonna go here quite a couple more times as you're gonna see. So maybe let's go uh, control and Y. It's gonna help me to very quickly open this up for you guys. Perfect. Zoom to selection, as I said, that is Shift and S by default. Very, very handy. So you can just select something, like for example, I want to work on dusty drums here on bar 25, and then hit Shift and S, there you go. That puts your selection in perfect horizontal and vertical focus as well. And once you're done, you know, doing all your edits here, just press that once again. It also works on a multi-selection, so if I say I want to work on my bass, my choir, and my synth run right here, you see that all of these have been put in vertical focus and horizontal focus as well. Once I'm done, just hit Shift and S and go straight back. Another handy one is Shift plus L, and that is zoom to loop. So say that you're uh, currently working on draw two, for instance, then you can hit P, which is default for setting a loop range to your selection. And then you can just hit Shift and L and it's gonna put that in horizontal focus. And you can also combine that, of course, with Shift and E and Shift and W, your classic vertical commands, or what I would consider better, command on a Mac or control on a Windows PC, and then using the scroll wheel. One more handy keyboard shortcut is Zoom Select the Track, which is gonna work very similar to the vertical track zoom that you might know from Logic and other DAWs. Uh, it's not assigned by default to any key, but you can just enter one, whichever you want. I'm just gonna go with Control and X here. And then whenever I select a track, that's gonna just expand it vertically. And it's also a toggle, which is really nice. Then we also have some buttons that synergize very well with some of the zoom commands that we just learned. For instance, if we're working on the main vocal here, we can set that um, in the editor to synchronize with the arrangement. It's a button right here. You can also assign it to a key command if you use it more often. And then once I select this and use zoom to selection, you can see that it's now in perfect horizontal and vertical focus in my arrangement. And same is true for the editor as well. I also really enjoy using Synchronize Editor to Arrangement in conjunction with Auto Scroll, which is keyboard shortcut F by default. And that is particularly useful if you're working, let's say, on a very particular section, but you want to move along with the playhead cursor as it goes to the next one. 
Watch what happens. And this also toggles very intelligently. So if I'm just in the middle of doing edits, it automatically switches off. It's a very handy function. So that was all fun and games. You ready to go deep? Well then, let's zoom like a boss. The true power of Studio One's zooming and navigation is unleashed when we combine these keyboard shortcuts that we just looked at to a new function. And that's what we call macros. You might have heard me rave about these before. Macros are essentially just a combination of one or multiple key commands. And especially in case of zooming, they enable certain things that you couldn't otherwise achieve. Fortunately, it's extremely easy to get started with these macros because Studio One already comes with a wide variety of them. So you can find them by just clicking on macros right here in the toolbar and then switching to any page of your liking. I would just encourage you to explore these macros, look what's available and then uh, find your favorites and assign them to either the Studio One Remote available on iPadOS or Android tablets and even Android smartphones or uh, assign them to regular keyboard shortcuts, which is also possible. One of my favorites is Zoom Overview, which you can see right here. What this does is it puts the entire song in perfect horizontal and vertical focus with just one click. But as soon as we right click this and edit macro, then we can see what this actually consists of. This is just select all, zoom to selection and deselect all. So we could do all of this by hand by simply selecting everything, doing zoom to selection with shift and S and um, then deselecting everything. But having it in just one button here it's just super, super useful, especially because it toggles back to the previous zoom state, just like zoom to selection would. I use this one all the time and I can only encourage you to put that on an available key command. So let's just go to the keyboard shortcuts, search for zoom overview. There you go. And uh, assign it to anything you want. Let's go with shift and O perhaps. And whenever I'm completely stuck, you know, when I'm just way too deep in the session and I need to regain my overview quickly, I just fire off shift no and I'm back to my full overview. Now I've actually taken this a step further and uh, combined this with another key command to build a new macro. And I put that on Exchange for you to download. And if you're not familiar with Exchange yet, that is our user platform that's directly integrated into Studio One's browser where you can upload and download user presets, effects chains, appearances, and also macros and share with others. And I think it's a fantastic platform. There's so many great macros there. Just explore and use the search function a bit. Often, if you just search for the keyword of what you're missing in Studio One, Chances are you find somebody who's already created the macro for that. So you find Exchange by opening up the Studio One browser right here and then going to the Cloud tab. Then you can double click on Personas Exchange if you're not already logged in. And now you can use that search function. And the macro that I've added is called Reset Song View. So if you just enter that into your search, you're going to find it right here. And you can install it with this button. And uh, 23 people have already downloaded that from Persona Sphere, I think, before I even uploaded this video. Anyway, so if you want to know what it does, it has a little description here. Quickly regain an uncluttered overview of your entire production without any floating windows obstructing your view. So that means that I've basically just combined Zoom Overview, what we just looked at, with another keyboard shortcut called Toggle Floating Windows, which is very useful when you have a couple of plugin windows obstructing your site. So to install, simply click install. And once we have that, we can just open up the keyboard shortcuts and assign that to anything that we want. Reset song view, there you go. And uh, let's go with shift and O because I probably always want this behavior instead. Let's just assume that I'm once again stuck in my session, but not just that, I also have this sample one open because I was just working on it. And I have that pinned because I was also adjusting its equalizer at the same time. So now I quickly want to regain my overview, right? But if I just click on this button, I don't have that yet because there's still these floating windows obstructing my view. So what I prefer doing is my new reset song view hotkey. 
And as you can see, that doesn't just regain the zoom overview, but also takes care of the floating windows, such as plugin windows, editors, mixers, anything that is detached from the main song window. Another really great macro is hidden on the Explore Macros page that already comes with your Studio One installation. And if we just right click that to see what's inside, we find that it's just an auto scroll toggle to prevent any kind of mishaps. Then we have loop selection, which is the P button, and then zoom to selection, the option in L or Alt and L on the Windows PC. We've looked at that before. So essentially, it's this and this, okay? So it sets the zoom or the loop range rather exactly to our current selection so that we can you know, loop it if we want to continue working on it and also adjust the zoom, the horizontal zoom accordingly. Now that's already pretty nice, I think, but I thought we could take this a step further because since version 5.1, we actually have a really exciting keyboard shortcut in Studio One and that one is called Show Tracks with events in loop range. This one is so good. It's ridiculous. Let me show you what it does. Let's just assign that to command and one because I'm gonna use that a lot. And uh, hit apply. And now I'm just gonna hit P here for my loop range and trigger this keyboard shortcut. And as you can see, all of the tracks that are not used in this particular loop range are now hidden. The great thing is that this is an intelligent updating system. So if I go to the chorus, which obviously uses more tracks than these, it gets them back. So that's why this is really, really powerful. But I thought it could be even more powerful. And that's why we're going to head one last time to Personas Exchange so you can truly zoom like a boss. You find this macro in the search function if you type in only show tracks and hit enter and there it's gonna show up. Only show tracks used in loop range and zoom in. So you can probably already imagine what I've done. I basically just combined this particular key command and the great benefits of zoom to selection that we already looked at. So without any further ado, just click on install or update if you already got it, uh, in my case, then hit to the keyboard shortcuts and search only show tracks and there you're gonna find it. And now let's assign that to command two. So let's put that to the test. I just select the chorus here, hit my new hotkey command and two. And as you can see, Studio One has set the loop range exactly to my selected chorus section. It has also hidden any tracks that don't have any events in this loop range. And it's so great because this toggles. So I can just hit command and two again, go to the full view, then select verse, hit command and two. And now I see only the tracks that are um, used in the verse section and also at a pretty nice size and with the loop range already set. Now this is of course only the tip of the iceberg. Go to exchange, see what's around in macros and also build your own zoom commands to keep zooming like a boss. And I'm very much looking forward to continue this video series soon with how to navigate like a boss. So make sure that you subscribe and don't miss out.